Tech DC presents the MSI Wind NetTop 100, a dual-core Intel Atom 1.6 GHz desktop PC. Like other barebone computers, you'll need to do some work before you can use it. Let's continue taking apart the case by taking off the front screws here and here. Then simply pull back and lift up. Once the case is free, you'll notice a large heatsink over the CPU and chipset. The single fan can only pull cool air over the motherboard if the case is sealed, so you'll want to keep it closed while it's on. Now let's start assembling the computer, but first, let's unplug part of the case. Now we add the RAM, and now we add the DVD drive, sliding it in from the front of the case, making adjustments until we can see the screw holes at the bottom of the case. The hard drive slides in the same way, again with the screw holes at the bottom of the case. After putting in the screws for the DVD and hard drive, reattach that part of the case to the motherboard, then place it back on the computer and slide it back. Now you can plug in the power and the SATA cable into the DVD drive and the hard drive. Then we can put the front bezel back on the case, and slide the top cover back on. Now let's hook it up by plugging in the VGA cable, the keyboard, the mouse, the network, and the power. And that's all it takes to build an MSI Win Netbook 100. As you can see in the BIOS, we are running an Intel Atom CPU 330 at 1.6 GHz. After installing Windows 7, this gives us a processor score of 3.2. The overall score of 2.3 is limited by the integrated graphics, which is still amazing for a system that uses only 34 to 36 watts while on. For more information on this or any other tech, visit techdc.com.